Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and we are continuing our review series on the Fractured and Alterac Valley cards. There has been more revealed. I'm gonna keep trying to do two reveal videos or review videos a day as the reveals continue to go on. Um, there was one so far card pulled from the whole reveal schedule due to, you know, Blizzard management being horrible, as you probably have heard. It's had nothing to do with the Hearthstone team. That's why I continue to cover the game and support it. The team is amazing. But um, there was a Zarella card scheduled for today that was pulled, probably the hero card. Um, that's been rescheduled, I believe, for five days from now. Tice will be revealing it. So um, that card is still scheduled. They've updated the, the whole schedule on the Play Hearthstone website. Um, and it looks like we'll still have you know continued reveals throughout the season that um we're not going to have as big a pullback um as last time but uh yeah just be aware that some reveals might be you know temporarily uh rescheduled due to you know the controversy going on and just i want to keep saying that the hearthstone team that i know that i'm you know i'm in contact with has, has been great um they're not involved in this crap and it really sucks that they have to you know suffer from a lack of accountability of the current management at activision blizzard right now and uh we're really hoping to see changes really hoping to see changes but anyways enough of that let's go into some of the new cards that have been revealed and let's see what power creep we got going because so far we've seen a lot of power creep but we're going to start off with the card that um is pretty pretty good well, I, well it, it's pretty interesting anyways it, it definitely seems like a hunter legendary so we have wing commander ikman nine mana five four hunter legendary so terrible stats uh it has battle cry though of summon a beast from your deck and give it rush if it kills a minion this a minion this turn repeat so um yeah you can build your deck with like kind of like a guardian animal style thing you would think with this you want like rat king you want like the tarantula in there and you know you want to rush a bunch of big greedy stuff in and then maybe you know get a jewel of nizoth and get some death rattle stuff back and this is not really good this is you know hunter hunter when they get the big value legendaries what is it ever worked out i'm not i'm not going to compare this to acid ma which is one of the worst legendaries ever but it's a nine mana don't win the game style of legendary that requires a board from your opponent to be good it's a really cool card i'll give it that um i i just it's nine mana it's it's nine mana it's it doesn't go face it's value based um unless you're trampling rhino comboing you're probably not killing anything uh, that's your best bet. Maybe you do a dire frenzy trampling rhino uh, combo. Other than that, I, I just don't see Wing Commander Ikman being anything in standard or wild. It, it's nine mana. It, it's it, I can't see it. I'm going to have to give it a one star in standard and wild. Um, I hope I'm wrong on it. I hope it's better than I think. Uh, but I just... What has this ever panned out in Hunter? Ever. It just... It hasn't. Uh, a card this expensive that doesn't kill your opponent I, I just can't see it being a reality but you know you never know i i could definitely be wrong but it just if history has been any indicator these kind of cards have not been uh super powerful uh we have a couple more hunter cards revealed as well though um we also had ram tamer three mana four or five uh common it's a it's a battle cry minion that if you control a secret gain plus one plus one and stealth that is a three mana five four stealth minion if you're playing an aggressive secret deck that's very powerful because that's well you can't really interact with that very well very unlikely to interact with that especially if you've curved out with this play and you have a five four that can go face and hit um that's pretty good you can buff it too there's like you can't interact with it you can put the uh the new you know biscuit on it you can put a ramming down on it um that, that that's pretty solid doesn't matter if it's a beast you don't need a beast for that and then smack the face you can control the board too of course but you're playing hunter probably don't want to do that so um pretty good it just is secret hunter gonna be a thing um we saw already saw that new spell uh that's pretty good we i want to see what the new secret's gonna be there's got to be a new secret coming um i just i don't know secret hunter just hasn't been a thing for a while but a three mana five four it has to be active like playing this as a four three is unplayable it just it doesn't do anything um 
I just don't know if it'll outweigh the current strategies. I'm going to give it a tentative three out of five, though, in standard. I think that uh, they're pushing the secret stuff pretty hard. Maybe the hero card is secret base, too. That could uh, play into it as well. I'll give it a three out of five in standard and a two out of five in wild, where, again, there's just... It, there's you need a faster strategy i think if you're doing secret hunter stuff i don't think you're doing ram tamer things but not a terrible card by any means uh next we have revive pet another hunter card uh discover a friendly beast that died this game summon it this is like a dream for you know the beast hunter deck the rat king style of deck a tarantula style deck where you get a really cool beast and bring it back hell you can go king crush if you want to go super late game and play king crush have it die and then play revive pet revive pet and boom boom bunch of damage with king crushes that's pretty cool um yeah it it, it discovers one beast uh there was a two mana spell uh back in the day that would bring back a beast that died this turn but this is this doesn't rely on it being on any like the turn it's a powerful effect but again the beast hunter stuff hasn't paid out this is value it's good value a lot of other classes would love this um but is this going to be good enough for standard i i haven't seen any indication yet that beast hunter is good enough but it's a really cool card i want beast hunter to be good so i i'm gonna be hopelessly optimistic and give this a three out of five that it'll see play in standard that they're gonna make rat king great because i think rat king is one of the coolest cards in recent history i want rat king to be great so I'm going to give this a hope, hopelessly optimistic 3 to 5 where it, it probably won't be very good at all. In and Wild, same deal. It, it, it's just value there. doesn't matter. It's too slow. Like, what do you what do you need to do with this in Wild? I got to give it a 2. But um, it's, it's a pretty cool little card and I um, want Rat King to be great. We also have a Demon Hunter card, uh, Flag Runner, 3 mana 1, 6. So it's like uh, Magic Carpet in stats. It's a... Uh, very hard basically impossible kill to kill minion early whenever a friendly minion dies gain plus one attack so it's like a with the uh i can't remember the name anymore ravaging ghoul uh type of minion that good gain plus one attack whenever a minion dies that was a three mana three three this starts with three more health two less attack um i guess you trying this in like a token dh which hasn't existed in well, forever um we'll have to see what the hero card is and the support for this is but as it stands this isn't going to make an impact um in the standard game this is like even in death rattle dh i don't think you're putting flag runner in there um but if their token dh is ever a thing this thing is really hard to kill and it's gonna hit for a lot so look out um i'll give it a tentative three out of five because it is just so hard to kill and if they're making this card, I got to feel like they're going to be pushing it pretty hard. So I'll give it a three out of five in standard in wild, even with odd DH being a thing, kind of, um, it's not really enough to justify, I think, putting there because you don't really want to be doing a bunch of trading with minions and having stuff dying and getting this bigger. Um, you can buff it up and all that. It might be okay in that deck, maybe, but it's probably too slow. That deck more wants to push aggression. So I have to give it a two out of five in wild. We also have Abominable Lieutenant, revealed by Lieutenant Eddie. I love the flavor of that. Lieutenant to Lieutenant Eddie, awesome. It's an epic, neutral epic, eight minute, three, five. So terrible stats. But at the end of your turn, eat a random enemy minion and gain its stats. This card will be insane in arena. I'll say that much, but epics are rare in arena, so you won't have to play around it too much. But on ladder, this is just not not good. Like <laughs> killing one random enemy minion and yeah, gaining its stats. That could be insane. Get an 8-8 eight, eight and you all of a sudden you have an 11 13 on board. That's great. And it's gonna keep snowballing, but it's eight mana. It's a random mini. It could just be a one-one. It could be nothing if your opponent doesn't have a board. It, it's an arena card. It's a cool card. Uh it's flavorful, but I cannot I I just how would this see play maybe uh mark will do a Drakari enchanter combo where it's end of turn effect will double and you'll eat two things a turn and it'll somehow live and it'll be a great video but in terms of standard and wild i gotta give this a two um uh, borderline one i gotta give it a two it, it's a sweet flavorful card it's weird they're, they're making epics into meme cards again we had like mattis bomber in the mini set and now we have abominable lieutenant which is not particularly the strongest card and lastly we have a neutral legendary ivis the forest lord one mana one one neutral legendary battle cry spend the rest of your mana and gain plus two plus two rush divine shield or taunt at random for each so I'm, I, I'm looking at this card and it looks, I'm, I'm just going to say it. 
if if the, uh, if the at random if the rush divine shield and taunt can stack and you can get the same thing twice that's this card's terrible this card's terrible if you can hit rush 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 it's awful divine shield divine shield uh, whatever ter it's terrible i don't know i have no confirmation if you can double on it i'm gonna hope you can't because otherwise this card's just bad um my thought is it'll it'll either hit plus two plus two and then one of the three other keywords and once it hits one of those keywords you can't get the same thing again otherwise it, it just it would be crazy so um yeah on average you're gonna hit like uh what 75 percent to hit one of the keywords then 50 percent and then one and then 50 percent again right because you'll or well, it'll be like what 75 percent one and three and then 50 percent um you really want to hit rush divine shield on this the taunt's probably the least important but if you think about it, you spend like five mana on this you could get you know rush divine shield taunt and then get like plus two plus two in stats and that that's a three three that's like zilliax right if you hit that perfectly although you don't get the life steal it's kind of like a one mana zilliax that is well not tip not exactly because you spend the rest of your mana but still it's uh it's pretty pretty nutty it's not quite zilliax level i think you just rather zilliax but say you're playing a guff druid deck you have 20 mana you can play this and you're basically going to get a gigantic rush divine shield taunt minion so there is that there is that synergy um i'm going to rate this with an assumption that you cannot get rush twice divine shield twice taunt twice otherwise i would say this card is terrible um i'm gonna base it on the assumption that it can't double dip so i'm gonna give it a three out of five in standard a two out of five in wild for that reason i think it could see some play as just a cheap flexible kind of removal divine shield taunt we've seen the effect in zilliax that's very powerful it's not zilliax level in my opinion although i probably put in the thumbnail that it's a one mana zilliax to get you in here classic clickbait zeddy but no um yeah i think it's uh it's a tentatively powerful card it's a cool card um but if it double dips on those things then then it's absolutely rubbish let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you think looks good and bad and all that stuff and uh if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends mm -hmm.